going to be on this stage and kindly give us the welcome speech. ขอเสียงประมือต้อนรับท่านด้วยค่ะ Secretary General of the Thailand's Office of the Civil Service Commission, Group Captain s o m s e n Deputy Permanent Secretary, and also the Ministry of Digital Economy and Society, Dr. b a l u k s a w a n i the Chairman of the and Advisors to the Government of Bangkok, Khun b r u n p r a s e t the VP of ITCI. First, our honorary president, Khun Bun Rat, who is also the, uh, the immediate past chairman of the social, uh, and also we see Wan Chiu, the v i s a chairman. Good morning. Good morning. I believe uh, many of you will know a social by now, because a social is no stranger to ATCI. In fact, ATCI is one of the most uh, important. Member, founding member of a social, and we are glad to be back in Bangkok, attended this very uh, impressive and very important conference, right, to be held. Before I illustrate further, I uh, just want to share with you a story. I was at the Baltic cruise just about two months ago. In the cruise, there's a ship with 4,000 people. We landed up in a few cities, and one of the city we landed was Tallinn in Estonia, right? And guess what happened? One of our colleague lost her passport. That's the last thing you want to do huh? is to lose a passport when you're in the middle of nowhere in a small little city. And on a Sunday, right? So of course you panic, right? Because now you cannot travel, right? Because the cruise will move from one city to another city. The, went to the police station. The police stations are all closed. Nothing is open. It's a Sunday, right? But fortunately, managed to find. Uh, information center, and inside the center, there's a kiosk, and in the kiosk, he actually lodged an online report, a police report. Because when you lose a passport, the first thing that you must do is to lodge a police report. With the police report, then you can take it to the ministry and to apply and so forth. So that is a wonderful thing that Tallinn had because with the online, she prints out the report. The next thing she did, she cruised, she boarded the cruise, and in the, the next day, uh, back in Berlin, because the the, the cruise actually departed to Berlin, uh, she got the passport back within uh, two days. So that's something that has been managed uh, without human, you know, in Tallinn, a small little city, but it's a beautiful city. And as part of a social, a social has 24 countries as our members, very active members. And I, I, I get to travel to many of these countries. And this is another story I want to share with you because the last country we visited was Myanmar in Mandalay. In Mandalay, our good host MCIA and all this brought us to a city. Now this is a city that is very touristic, but we were brought to a traffic control room, and in that room, you can practically see every happenings in the city, right? And guess what? The mayor himself actually communicate with all his citizens in the city via Facebook and social media, and WhatsApp. It is not a channel for people to communicate, but he actually replied and respond. So, and and with all the sensors in the city, even where the garbage goes, he's managed. He is able to track. 
So I really want to congratulate Mandalay because it is an eye-opener. Compared to a city where still a lot of paperwork, slow, today Mandalay has transformed to become a very modern, very fast and very friendly city. So this is something that I was sharing with Mrs. Mantini. That the, don't forget the human resource aspect of a smart city. Because smart city, we can put together a very, all the infrastructure, right? The roads, the systems, the sensors, but the human part of it is so important. And, and incorporating the, the, the soft and the hard, I think we can really have a better tomorrow. Right, and this is what a social aspire to do. Our vision, I don't have video to, to, to show you. My honorary says no, no, no. <laughs> but our vision is to be the catalyst of the digital transformation in Asia. Okay? We want to work closely with the associations in each one of our country and to see how we can collaborate and how we can learn from each other so that all the economy now can move faster and more efficiently and learning from each other to implement right, whatever agenda, the digital agenda in their country. So this is what a social is all about. I'm from Malaysia. I represent an association called PICOP. A lot of my members are here. And PICOP is going to be the next host of another very big digital summit, which is in November this year. And I'd like to invite you all there. And just now, Yvonne already shared with you. Next year is going to be Penang. Penang is also another smart city in the makings. So that is also another event that I felt is very important for you to be present. Right? Now, to recognize the cities, for the first time, a social has started a smart city award. Right? And this is an idea that was coined by ATCI together with a social and we think it's a brilliant idea. So today I'd like to congratulate nine cities that are the winners of these awards. I will not let the cats out of the bag right now. Uh, tonight, stay with us and you will know the award winners. Right? So I'd like to congratulate those award winners and I also I'd like to congratulate the organizer of this, which is the Ministry of the ICT uh, Communication as well as the TCI for holding the e-government, the HR, the cloud, and the smart city all together in one. I think this is, and the big data of course. So this is uh, a very uh, important initiative and the social, we are always there to support all this initiative. I think with that, 